In the lands of Middle-earth, legend tells of the Dark Lord Sauron and the ring that would give him the power to enslave the world. Lost for centuries, it has been sought by many and has now found its way into the hands of the most unlikely person imaginable. What must I do? The ring must be destroyed. It must be cast back into the fires of Mount Doom. I cannot do this alone. You have my sword. And you have my bow. And my axe. We're coming too! <laughs> Mr. Frodo's not going anywhere without me. This task was appointed to you. And if you do not find a way, no one. Let us hope that our presence may go unnoticed. The end has come. Come, Master. Come to Smeagol. It is time. The precious baby eyes. He means to murder us! Never! I'm not sending him away. Come to me. Hey. Whatever happens, stay with me. This day, we fight! All you have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to you. We shall see the Shire again. We're lost. I don't think Gandalf meant for us to come this way. A new power is rising. Its victory is at hand. You must lead the people to Helm, Steve. Carry the face of his all little one. It's like in the great stories, Mr. Frodo. The ones that really mattered. Full of darkness and danger they were. And sometimes you didn't want to know the end. Because how could the end be happy? How could the world go back to the way it was when so much bad had happened? But in the end, it's only a passing thing. This shadow. Even darkness must pass. A new day will come. And when the sun shines, it'll shine out the clearer. Those were the stories that stayed with you. That meant something. Even if you were too small to understand why. But I think, Mr. Furrow, I do understand. I know now. Folk in those stories had lots of chances of turning back, only they didn't. They kept going. Because they were holding on to something. What are we holding on to, Sam? There's some good in this world, Mr. Furl. And it's worth 